Why, hello everybody, my name is Shredex and welcome to Star Sector. So we're going to be starting a brand new series today and I'm looking forward to it because it's going to have a unique thing when it comes to me playing the series. So normally, last like four or five years, I've played Star Sector quite a few times on this channel. There's always some kind of challenge or gimmick with it. Though weirdly, this series is going to be just uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm actually just going to be playing the game. So, of course... I've been doing this for a while now. I've always played Star Sector a lot when it first came out. Tons and tons of time, like five, ten years ago, I played this game so much I knew everything about it. Over the last four or five years though, I've been working on YouTube and stuff, the, the game keeps getting better and better. More features keep getting added in and added in, but I haven't really had time to play it. Just flat out going through the game, trying to get to all the cool late game stuff, that kind of thing. So to do that, I'm just going to be playing the game, guys. This series is going to be just me loading up a new game going into the universe and seeing how far we can get we're using all the features and mechanics the game has to offer without any limitations what is that ship <laughs> i've never seen that one before so of course i'm not doing this on base game we are using quite a few mods i've picked out and perused if you go to the end of the video it will show you what mods i'm currently using i have got rid of quite a few that slow down the gameplay quite a lot but we got stuff like industrial revolutions add like a lot more carny bounce and stuff but apart from that though guys Let's get started, shall we? So I'm starting a new game, of course. I wait. I have saved games that must have been from like four or five years ago. This is an old PC at this point. Uh, let's go and pick our characters. So I'm probably going to call this series the Admiral, everybody. So I'm going to play as someone that looks like a badass. Oh my god, look at this guy. Okay, we're going to play as this guy. We're going to be um, Fawn. We'll be Captain or Admiral Fawn. That sounds like a very stern and dangerous name there. I don't think I want to go on Iron Man, it's a pretty bad idea, and I'll probably turn off help, but let's just dive into it. Now, hopefully, things will work with the amount of factions I have. I'm actually going to be playing pretty much as a standard start, so I'm not going to be a part of a faction. I'm not going to have any colonies, I'm just going to be starting off with my wolf, probably, which is probably one of my favourite starter ships in the game anyway. So before we go any further, let's just make sure we have all this set up properly. I'm going to leave most of this on auto, because it does do a pretty good job of doing that kind of thing. Though, I will make sure there's a few faction things set properly. So I want to probably... So I want to make sure that we have random relations with everybody. That could be pretty fun. Factions can respawn. And I guess use faction weights is totally fine. Just so they don't have crazy relations and whatnot. As for the other options, I'm actually going to be... Because I'm playing normally without any like gimmick or something to slow me down i actually i'm actually going to be playing on starfarer mode which means other factions are more aggressive towards you 25 percent lower carny growth and income and finally 100 percent more generation points of vengeance fleet i think this will hopefully bounce out a little bit because if i get myself like some stupid crazy fleet they're gonna probably need to be a few factions that can fight me to take me down I will also not enable this. <laughs> I played with this last time on Commander Mode, and my god, it was a bit of a nightmare. I feel like that's probably not a good idea. We'll leave that turned off for now. Academy Stupid. Um, ooh, automatically disabled in Starfire Mode, so I guess it's going to be off regardless then. So with all that, I think I'm pretty happy with this. We should be good to go. So I was going to say, there's also one that enables warp drives and stuff with gates. But I feel like that's already enabled by default. So we've got to look for that one. Apart from that, let's press proceed, shall we? So I'm going to start as a free start. And it should let me randomize my start unit. So I like, personally, going for the wolf. There's also a choice between a kite and a shepherd. I feel like the kite would be better just for distractions and stuff. So let's go for this build right here. And let's see how things go. Oh, you can just start with a Hyperion. We're not going to do that. It's too easy. It's too easy. So let's start at level 1. Done. So I am using the mod I used last time with the new and refined skill points and whatnot. But we will probably still go for the same kind of build. Just because it's pretty handy getting this whole restoration one. So for now, let's start off with our character. We are going to jump on... Ooh, there's so many options. Let's go for the capacity one. We get more movement speed on civilian ships as well as a bunch of like cargo and stuff as well. And here we are, everybody. So let's figure out what to do first. So I like normally killing pirates, mostly because I like killing things in general. So we have a look at the old map here. This is actually... I had to change things around, by the way. It was not letting me start the game without having the default builds for all the factions so they all have their like proper home systems they've all got their custom planets and setups and stuff so it's actually probably gonna make them a lot more powerful to be honest but looking at the map here we do have like a lot of things going on we've got two bounty systems we'll probably go for corvus i would say first and it does also seem 
that there's a bunch of free contacts at the start of the game. Military, trade, this is perfect. Okay, I want to develop all these. We actually have five slots anyway we can fill in, so we got some spare afterwards. And if we don't have anything to do, we can go over here, talk to the guy, get some kind of special mission, maybe make some cool money that way. So, I guess my first thing's going to be, let's jump over to this gate here. I want to make sure we grab all the gates on the way around the map so we can teleport around afterwards. I presume we are using the standard wolf. Yes, we are. <laughs> Just a big old laser, an iron cannon, and a few missile launchers. It's actually a really good build, especially against the pirates at the start of the game. It makes life a lot easier. Okay, scan gate, done. So that's going to be the first gate we have so far, but later on we'll try and find some more stuff. Now, as we're using the Industrial Revolution mod again, there's actually going to be it's like some sat defenses. We've got some, what was this? We're somewhere. There should be an artillery cannon somewhere in the system. <laughs> Basically, it means if we're at war with someone or going to exploring and run to a guy that's got some kind of artillery system, we might just get blown up without even fighting a guy. So you've got to keep an eye on that. For now, though, let's jump into the old warp bubble thing. And we'll head over to Corvus itself. Yes, I am in hyperspace, my friend. So if you zoom out, this is the current core world. Everything with a name should be colonized in some manner. What the hell? Why is the hive so far away? They've got a lot of wells, though. That's a bit scary. <laughs> Are they meant to be some kind of, like, endgame crisis I was not aware of? That could be pretty fun. Oh, no, okay. Let's try and get through this bit first. I do not want to start a battle against a bunch of looted path guys at this point that would be a bit of a nightmare okay there's some fast pickets now pirates being pirates will probably tend to be away from the main area and trying to jump on the old warp points however if unfortunately the local forces are already there that probably does mean that they've either been destroyed or there's not that many of them let's get a bit closer anyway to see what's going on there's also an attack fleet over here oh it's weird starting a new game because everyone's really weak <laughs> oh that's perfect it's literally the same build I have, but with pirate versions. Move in to engage. Okay, I will duel the wolf. You will join, duel the kite. And together, we will both become victorious. Now, let's figure this out for a second. So, I want to make sure I manual fire missiles and stuff for now, but we should be okay overall. Oh, he's got a mining blaster. Shouldn't be too bad. Well, i got to be careful with these good old missiles here. It might cause a little problem. Don't mind me. Oh. No! Oh no! <laughs> that was not good! Clearly there was a mistake made here. It's not his fault, okay? Admiral Fawn is only level 1. He doesn't know what's happening yet. Okay, so apart from a bit of a dodgy start, let me just quickly vent that away. If we can push back in... Perfect. We have a massive advantage when it comes to Flux now. I'm going to sit on for a little bit. When it gets a bit low, I'll start pushing out the old missiles. You can't get away from me. We're exactly the same ship. Okay. Okay, let's take a little what? Oh, wow! That was so close! I, I literally, my, my, my world stopped. I was like Fry when he had like a thousand coffees. I, I just, time stopped, I pressed the shield button and it saved my life. Though, whoa! Not looking good at the moment though. Let me just try and get that through. He's got another one by the way, so we're not out of the woods yet. He can do that a second time. Do you know what? Think, why don't I just press F? I could have just teleported around the Reaper torpedo. That's okay. <laughs> Minor parts. It's fine. We can get through this. You will let me kill you. Okay, there should be a few seconds now. Oh! I it's like the missiles are sentient. They went around the flank on purpose. Okay, perfect. So with my little escapade finished, let's go and v join my friend. I've actually got the uh, utility mods this time, so I can now use uh, what's it called? Speed up. It's is what it says guys <laughs> double speed on missions here so who's winning this battle i would hope it'd be my friend because he actually oh he's winning yeah he's like an auxiliary militarized version of the basic kite so he's got an advantage over a random one that's for sure good job my friend victory has been achieved so i could story point some ships but that's not really going to be very useful at the moment we will of course though take all of this equipment for us right now which we can probably sell for a tiny bit of profit so system bounty three grand very nice what is this the consumption's gone up don't worry about it buddy it's fine so let's go over to the nearby oh is this uh let's go and check out the nearby desert world shall we so because i want to try and buy myself some additional ships everyone i want to get maybe some or oh, some kind of destroyer early on or if we find more wolves that'd be pretty good anything that's really like combat -y would be a pretty handy situation here uh is that just a smuggler i presume it would be okay so what have they got for sale here 
they have a... I thought that was a Tempest for a second. I was about to freak out, and I was like, wait, no, it's just a terrible ship. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I... Ooh. There's many options here. A kit... What is this? I've never seen this one before. Heavy custom frigate. What's that movement speed, though? Uh, where is it? 100. Is that good? Sorry, I'm, I'm having a bit of a brain fart right now. 140. 150. No, is the answer. That is not a good one to get. We'll leave that off for now. Oh, I forgot to actually equip the Janus device. If we don't do that, we literally just can't do things. Simple as that, really. Okay, so let's get off some equipment and stuff. Sell some items. Money's going to be quite tight at the start, as it normally is. We should probably also check out for nearby missions and stuff as well. I'm not going to read all these, because uh, honestly, I haven't got time for that. <laughs> but we will just quickly zoom through them, just in case there's a mission we can easily do here. I don't think Shady Person. What do they want? Oh, it's uh, Operative immediately. That would be pretty handy if I had a base, but we haven't got a base, so <laughs> it's a bit pointless really. What is this one? He knows the location of a wing blueprint. So, also pretty cool, but I can't really use that right now, so we'll leave that be. Let's go and check out the more militarized base up above us. This one probably has a better chance of finding something useful here. And also, it's got mobile markets we can use as well. So, the civilian market's pretty dead. We can't go to the military one. Look at this! <laughs> wow! I have a mod that randomly adds in, like, World War II ships. Um, don't ask me why I downloaded it. It just seemed fun, okay? I wanted to fight around with, like, the uh, random battleships. It's even got, like, an old brick. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like, um, what was that old thing from Disney? Ah, oh, I can't remember his name. Ah, Treasure Island? Or Treasure Planet? It began with Treasure. Let me know, guys. I think it was Treasure Planet. Where they have, like, the giant spaceship... Well, they have like the giant spaceships, but they're just regular ships in space. <laughs> it made sense at the time when I was a kid, I guess, but it was a pretty weird thinking back to it. Anyway, so that didn't really work out too great when it comes to getting myself some free stuff, though. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. We might want to try and immediately get ourselves actually thinking about it. Thinking about it, guys. Can we afford any civilian transports? Uh, uh, keep an eye out for like a really basic cargo vessel because if we can maybe go and do like some really early trading missions for that contact it might be a pretty good idea i mean literally just below us in arcadia is a contact so should we go and see what they have to offer we might be able to do some really quick money grabbing schemes because it doesn't seem to be that many pirates <laughs> i changed my mind oh there's a battle over here with a pirate though it should be quite interesting deploy what on earth? Oh, is it one of the- Oh my god, it's a brig. Okay, let's go and check out this ship. I'm really excited. I don't know why it's got such a large combat radius on the on the mini-map thing. <laughs> it's like one of those fake sensor beams. It's like, oh, it's 20 times the size it actually is. Where is it? Show me the brig. We should have like a sailing-only fleet or something stupid. There it is. Look, it's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, it gave it cannons! That's so cool! So what has it got? Railgun, like, 24-pound cannon. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. That is such a fun ship. Okay, let's try and help him out a little bit, though. Also, I just want to witness him fighting people. So we're trying to avoid the mule, because it's going to be a bit more powerful than the rest of the guys nearby anyway. Uh, there is a thing behind me. Uh oh oh! Oh, I just got inside my... I think I did, actually. Okay, there's a shuttle over there. Let's go and say hello. Why, hello there. Oh, it's two of them. Okay, I don't want to get swarmed here. Even though there are only shuttles, if there's two of them at the same time, it might end in a bad day. So let's make sure we put target. I'm going to try and keep... Okay, we've got guys going around the back. You're flanked. I changed my mind. We're going to kill this guy instead. Okay, in a second, his shields will go. Oh, okay, good. I love kites because as soon they got like some pretty good shielding, but as soon as you break through that like juicy exterior, it just cracks under pressure. Same as most ships. <laughs> most ships do not do well without shielding. Oh, that was a bit close. I like how I tried to zoom out with the camera there. It was a terrible camera ship. I should have done the shot on iPhone meme or something. 
And another one set. Excellent. Okay. So, what about the rest of the fleet? So, it looks like the rest of the battlefield is pretty much wrapped up. The brig is miles away for some reason, but we are now going to try and take down this fella here. Now, unfortunately, with my very early... What is that? Is that like an old gun? BL 6-inch mark... What was what that? That's 23. Ooh. I love it. Can you feel the power when it fires? It's literally like vibrating my mind. I, I, I've, I'm really attached to these new guns from the uh, human era. I want to get some. I mean, if we're lucky, or if I just go and check shops, we might be able to find some eventually. Though I doubt there would be a lot of them when it comes to energy weapon mounts, because that would be a bit strange. What's going to be like the Archimedes sunbeam thing? <laughs> Was it Archimedes? The, the guy from ancient history that decided to try and burn a fleet down with a bunch of like magnifying glasses or something like that. Using the power of the sun. Excellent. Nice. Can I have your gun please? Join pursuits. There is a single man running away. Let's just, uh, I'll do it myself. Let's take this guy down. So, I guess I could be deploy both people. I know I did deploy directly behind it, so we should be able to catch it quite quickly, because it's not going to be that fast. So we take it down. Kill it! Oh, look at the power of that gun! Okay, I found my new favorite thing. <laughs> Do you reckon you get like ridiculous sized guns, like uh, large mount versions? Ah, oh, like what? How big were the guns on the Yamato? They must have been some big ass guns. <laughs> that ship was huge. I uh, uh, was that like the biggest battleship ever made? I don't know because I know it was breaking the what was it Washington Treaty? It was something like that. Don't quote me exactly, but it was some kind of treaty that said, like, you can't build ships over X size to stop the world as building more and more massive scale ships. Okay, so that went pretty well there. Should we just try and dump a lot of this stuff in a nearby base? We got, like, quite a bit of money from that as well, actually. I kind of feel like we might want to try and invest early on in a proper cargo vessel. Because there is one... Oh, it's light freighters. That could be a good idea as well. <gasps> oh my god! Independence carrier. Wait, no, I like this one more. Look at this! The Hosho class is a light carrier primarily used to provide fuel and voice, uh, void superiority for small patrols and trade convoys. A deeply underappreciated but good ship class. Oh, it, ha it has a kamikaze attack. Look at this cutter. Why has it got a glowing eye on it? This is awesome. How fast is this? 120. I think I have to resist, to be honest, because I'm going to end up just having weird ships <laughs> the entire time. I'm going to go for none of those. Let's just focus on getting a cargo vessel or some capacity. So this is going to have 150 capacity. That is vast over what I already have. And I think burn-wise, it's actually nine. Nine's great. And it'd be plus one from my current skills. So that's actually a great thing to grab already. So we picked that up. I uh, Yeah, yeah, we're going to do this. There's no reason not to. Done. So let's make sure we got this equipped with something I actually would like to use in the future. So we go to a base at Sanamanda to shoot nearby enemies. We'll give it some point defense to shoot guys that's being shot at. But if this is ever in combat, I failed as a player anyway, at least in my opinion. And I think we will probably grab... Ooh, it's already going quite fast. What is the maximum burn level of my other ships? Can we figure that out? 10, 10, 10, 10. Then there's no reason to modify it to increase its burn level then, is there? Let's instead go for extended cargo hull, which increase it by a lot. Was it 30%? Whatever's higher. It's it's going to be a lot, guys. And we're also going to probably throw in there... Oh, what do we fancy? I feel like... I'm, I'm, it's a bit tingly, but I feel like we should try and like get some additional fuel tanks as well, just to get that up a little bit. And apart from that, that should be that sorted out. Now, I don't know... Hmm. The rest of it doesn't really matter. When we get some utility stuff, we might put some more stuff on later on. But for now, it's good to go. I guess we could do an unstable and jet so it could just speed through the world here. But does this... Wait, doesn't this increase the detection range on the main map? Or am I wrong there? Increase ship total speed. Interferes targeting. Do you know what? That is a good thing to put on my civilian ships. It just makes it go faster. It's kind of like painting a stripe on it, but it actually does something. Okay, so let's go for that. This guy is now ready to go, which is good to see. 
And as for me, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to change this around a little bit. Only a little bit, though. I feel like I should grab myself... What is this? The buff? This one. Increase my performance time by 50%. How many times have we been screwed over by running out of CR? This is going to be a lifesaver one day. I don't want to start using story points on this ship, though, because I will try and go to destroy as soon as possible. But for now, I'm happy with what we have. Okay, cool. So that's pretty awesome. We should always check as well. We want to get we want to get some people. I want to find some officers to help me in the game. I haven't got enough crew, have I? Oops. <laughs> Damn it, me. Why am I like this? So, oh, we are literally missing two crew. We get like a little bit. Just so we have some dudes running around. Let's go back quickly. Grab the stuff we lost. Sell it for a profit. Go somewhere else and do some other things. I would like to take all of... Nearly all of it. Not the organics though. No one likes organics. They smell. Hello again. It's been like five seconds. I would like to sell this strand and junk please. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get going. So I don't want to check out that next place, right? Did I scan this gate? Recalling my memory, which I can't because I have no memory, I feel like I didn't do it. So we're going to have a quick jump over this way and we are activate this fella as well, which means we can start doing some more teleporting in the future. Now, it does seem to me that the standard core world has like a ton of gates everywhere. Is that just me or is... Because I haven't... We have like seven... <laughs> Normally they're all over the place. Maybe it's better just playing on the default mat so it's a bit more like organized at the start of the game here. What is this? A mud skipper. I could technically grab this, but I'm not sure. So this is one of those things I was talking about earlier, right? So I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know much about this game and why don't get much time to play it. I get confused because people always say to me, why are you doing this to yourself? Why do you not recover vessels? But every time I try and do this, it doesn't seem to be profitable. So I don't understand where people are coming from. I mean, honestly, I just don't understand what you're talking about. So I'm just going to go. This is, how, this is my way to do it. So if I recover this, it's going to take free repair supplies to repair, right? I wonder if what you're referring to is you recover vessels fully repaired and then sell them for a profit. Is that what's happening? So for instance, if I try and repair this, I'll grab this fella. So that is going to what cost free supplies to repair. So that is going to be £300 of costing to get it back up to 100%. Fair enough, fair enough. If we go back over this way, this is where I'm going to be like, oh, I understand now. <laughs> it's just me trying it. If I try it, it makes sense, I'll do it in the future. So we'll go over this way, and I'm going to just repair all. Simple as that. And if I go to sell the item, it sells for 582 So that is a profit. But is that because it has an item on it? No, it doesn't. So it's actually double the value. That makes more sense. Okay, I understand, guys. So you rec you recover stuff, you repair it, then you sell it. Fair enough. Uh, look at this PowerPoint, by the way. <laughs> My God, it's huge. Muskip is always pretty funny, but I don't feel like I should have it on my fleet. I mean, look at all this. It all advised modifications, compromised storage, compromised hole. That's, uh, yeah, that's not really what I want to see right now. So let's sell that, buddy. You can also probably scuttle it, right? So you get 600 pounds inferior supplies worth some extra stuff but that's me just going off the value of this which might be less or it might be more i'm just gonna sell it regularly just because i can right it should be fine goodbye to be fair i think scrapping might be a bit more efficient we have to check it again in the future so so far i've lost 243 pounds way better than last time i played this game where i was losing 70 grand a month by just playing the game because <laughs> it leveled up the uh, debt every time I got more powerful, it was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, are these Pareto? Pareto? Why, hello, Pareto. Let's go. I was, I was like, wait a second, why am I deploying that? Are we ready? I really want to get an officer for this guy so we can start bonding. I like bonding with my officers. Uh, oh, don't mind me. Not as good as Patrick, though. I'll never forget Patrick. Anyway, let's do this. This guy's already went gone way too far with his attack. His oh, that was beautiful. He doesn't. He, he didn't even get to see it. <gasps> My God, look at him. Look at him. He has a dual 130 millimeter cannon. 
Ooh! That was a bit scary. Give it to me. This should be interesting. Oh, he's trying to warp away a little bit. Oh, I like how he evaded the missiles to then immediately go back into the range of the missiles. <laughs> Maybe a bit of a thing there. Done! Well, that went great. Confirm victory. If we're lucky, we might be able to rescue some of these fellas. Oh, I didn't get the cannon thing. So sad. So, so sad. Oh, that still counted as me being a ranger Corvus, so we got ourselves some free stuff. That was pretty awesome. Okay, let's go over there. Is that a beacon? No, it's a muskipper again. How many gates are there? <laughs> so many gates. My mind is just filled with gates over and over again. We're not going to jump in there. I want to see what this stray contact has to offer me. What is their charge? So let's jump into the nearby world. Oh, is that a... Oh, it's coming. It's going to be... Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Go, go, go. That's going to chase me. Oh, no. It's right no, it's, Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's too fast. It's way too fast. It's not that bad, though. We've got a Wayfarer, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, no. It's the Lasher. The Lasher. Okay, it's fine. We can accept this as a victory. It's fine. We can go in. We get XP for this as well. We just fight, work together. The lash is going to be the problem though, because it's going to be to overwhelm both me and my kite shields at the same time. It's a bit of a badass. Um, do I focus on... What the hell is that? That was a weird attack, wasn't it? No, it's, it's too close, it's too close. Oh, no, 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 no. It's anti-missile, it's anti-everything. Critical malfunction? Excuse me? Wait, is it? Is it cursed? It's like my PC, it just randomly stops working for no reason. Okay, we can wear that guy down, that's fine. Okay, while he's distracted, we'll try and take down the kites and stuff, but I need to keep this guy near me. Do you know what, buddy? We need to combine... Fusion. Activate fusion mode. Join me. We're the dream team. Nearly, 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 nearly. Okay, back up. Cover me, buddy. I don't really give him a choice, but he's in covering anyway. Okay, next stage, let's go. Perfect. Oh, get the engine! Yes! Oh, that was amazing! That was like 100% accuracy on that as well. That was glorious. I, I think the Star Set the Gods saw my plight and were like, Do you know what? You get yourselves a beautiful missile strike. That's so cool. What is this gun? This is a... Uh, what is it? Uh, dual 5 inch 38 caliber and 24 pounder. Oh my god, I love this. Why, hello there! I didn't go exactly as I planned, but it still kind of works, it's fine. I was never really worried about the Wayfarer, to be honest. It was only about the Lasher. Well, that went great. You didn't take any damage, I didn't take any damage, and we both had a good time. Consider ship recovery, saw it. Take it all. Am I leveled up yet? No, nearly. We're getting there. So, I've reached the system. Let's go and talk to... What, what one was it? This one? I don't... No. Let's go and give it a shot. That train is burning it! What are they doing to do that? That was a pretty cool looking uh, engine trail. Let's have a quick look here first. Do you guys have any cool equipment or anything? Oh, there's another ho show. Why is the independence so cheap? Oh, it's classed as a frigate. Top speed 44. That's uh 46. Okay. They're not very fast. <laughs> I don't know if I want to try and use one of those. I mean, you've got a brawler. That could be quite fun. I'm tempted. Oh, also a vigilance. Long range missile support. That could be a good ship to push in. Or our very own lasher, which we could use to help out as well. I don't like, normally like going for low-tech pirate ships, though, so it's a bit of a... Oh, I don't know. We're considerate. Okay, is this where the contact is? Entrepreneur. What do you have? So they want to... She wants to buy a ship off me. And she wants me to give them 200 units of domestic goods. Um... Oh, this is delivery, right? We can just do this one. Ooh. Yeah, 
yeah, we can do this. Have I got enough room? I don't know. I don't know. I can have enough room. Let's get rid of a few bits of cargo here and there. Oh, I'm getting some of the pounder guns. <laughs> really more. Give them to me. I want them all. Give me the mission. Yes, oh, it involves, involves me buying domestic goods. Oh, sorry, I should have read that. Uh, domestic goods. Domestical. What do they look like? Because I'm an idiot. There they are. Okay, domestic goods. So where can we buy them for a nice bit of money? So we can go to that the pirate place. Kantar Zen. That's what I invaded when I played this game last time. I like how also it's like, yeah, just go to the Hiver place across the galaxy. I'm not so sure about that one myself. I, I must admit. Yeah, we can sell them for a profit as well. This is perfect. So let's go in over to the pirate place. This might be a bit dangerous, actually. But I'm sure we'll be totally fine. What can possibly go wrong? We've got a repair dock here. Is there anything of interest I can perhaps peruse? As I... Oh my god, there's another wolf! But then I need the money to buy... No, it should be fine. It should be able to afford it. I think. Probably. Welcome, brother. Oh, this is a... Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting. There used to be a version, I think there still is in the game, the... Ah, uh, I can't remember what faction it was from. It's like a ballistic mount version. But it seemed pretty cool as well. Uh, oh, they have added in Heavy Blaster. I am super tempted to try that. We might grab that, just because I like playing with the Heavy Blaster. It's as simple as that, really. I just enjoy using it. We'll equip a few torpedoes. And that's not a torpedo. What am I talking about? It's a. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So this one's going to be a lot more about sneaking around enemies and shooting in the back. So I might move this to my main ship, and I have this very well set up one as the regular one. So for me, let's go for hard systems again. We we'll also get more distribution, and I think this should be it. So this should be yeah yeah. This should work out pretty well. I think this will be our main ship for now. Cool. Let's get going, shall we? So, where am I going? I wanted to go to this place here, which is a bit far away, but not that bad. I probably should go the other way in case there's enemies nearby. We can kill on the way. I mean, I think I have enough money to buy the items. It was like, what, £20 per one? So, we should have enough money in the bank to go and get 200 At least I think so. We'll see when I get there. <laughs> My on-the-fly math is a pretty abysmal, so hopefully it's not a mistake there. Dive waving onyx. I love that they're back in the mod set. I love that faction. Their mechs are awesome. It's just fun to see them in the game. It, it really is. <laughs> wow! I just found a dreadnought. They're going to recover the ship. The Red Dwarf! Oh, it's cold outside. There's no kind of atmosphere. I'm all alone, more or less. Sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, uh, this is amazing. We're mothball it. We have to store it somewhere, but we have ourselves a big ass ship now. This is epic. Okay. I'm going to need to do some advanced trading here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Is that a minefield around? Is that going to kill me? No, it's fine. Good. I was a bit scared for a second there. Hi, friend. I'm a friendly neighborhood smuggler pirate. And I'm here to buy myself a few of these goods. Now, I want exactly 200, which is perfect. So, wait. Why am I buying off the open market? What is wrong with me? Let's do it that way. There you go. Done. Should I just buy a little bit? Where am I selling it? That place, right? Let's just get more. Let's get, like, as much as I can fit into my cargo hold. And we'll go from there. Okay. Get out of there. Go, 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 go. So where are we going? We are heading this way. Down. Out. Oh, God. It's fine. It's merely a flesh wound. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So they are mines. I just got really lucky the first time I flew through that. Okay. Transponder on. Let's get out of here. I can't believe I found that ship. That was epic. So we had to try and find a place to probably store it. 
because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a drain on my fleet for a while. But as soon as we get enough stuff to equip this, we'll do it, because look at this. Oh, it's already come with some stuff. It's got some fast interceptors, rocketeers. It's got a few guns. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm just going to use it to blow up a random ship. This, 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 I know this is selfish of me. I'm sorry. This has nothing to do with progress in the video. But I just want to blow something up with this beautiful ship. Uh, I, I don't know what to pick. I'm just going to pick this thing. Whatever it is. I don't even know. Uh, oh, it's got no CR. So it's going to malfunction. <laughs> well, that's not good, is it? But look at it, though. This is mine. Are we going to die before we get to the point where it gets close enough? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Look at the ship that's falling apart. Who can win? A zero CR ship. With no shielding, apparently. Shields offline. No readiness. <laughs> I don't think we were witnessing the death of one of these dreadnoughts. But I guess it's one of those. It's fine. We, we got to see it in combat. Not really, but still. Okay, so let's zoom this way. Oh, let me just do 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 do. Oh, what? No, no, wait, 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 ow, 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 ow. okay, I've, I've got through, that's fine. So I want to go this way, right? Oh, game. Pfft, that's a bit scary. I don't know what happened there, it seems to be okay though. I, I did make money from this because I now have no fuel, <laughs> so not great, not great. Do you know what, I could probably leave, it's, what is this, a military world? It is. We should probably though leave the ship in a system with a contact because I'll probably go there quite often. So, yeah, we'll think about it for now. We'll think about where to keep it. I mean, as long as it's in a system with a gate, I can teleport there whenever I want to. Oh, we'll keep it in the free port. Oh, no, memory leak. Nah, it's a bit of a pain. It's fine. It doesn't matter what PC I'm using. That's just an ever-present factor in this. So, I'm giving it to this guy. This lady. My apologies. Did it domestic goods? 26 grand. Profit achieved. I feel like I'm a trader already. So, let me just uh, give you the rest of the items, make a little bit more money. And we now have ourselves 35 grand, which is uh, quite nice, if I dare say. So, let's grab some fuel, and I think we're going to fly off and dump this ship for now in a safe location, a harbour. I don't know where the prison free port is, but normally it's very easy to find the main map, so we can just have a look around, it should be fine. Uh, while I'm here... Is that a tr possible contact? Oh, look at all these officers! There's loads of them! Do you know what, though? I think we should not recruit any of them and just find... Because I, I tend to find a lot of them while just flying around the galaxy anyway. So for now, at least, we're just waiting to get picked up as we go around the map a little bit. Okay, so... Wait, we have two red dwarfs? I can't stop right. <laughs> I didn't notice the name was there before. Uh, let's see. There's another wolf, but we already have two of them. Okay, for now, let's focus on getting rid of this big ass ship. It's going to slow us down. So the prison free port is literally just over there. And we can go and talk to another content artist. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There you go. Topography. Ah, oh, someone killed them. I want to do it myself, but it is what it is. It's okay. You can't win everything in life. Though sometimes it's nice to win at least one thing. System bounty has been achieved by Iron Shell. I think they're like an anime faction I downloaded. I don't ask me why. This is, they had a cool name. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. That's a problem. That is a problem. We can try this. Though the other battle art is probably going to end in a death. I reckon we can do this. So I have a heavy blaster. It's literally just overcompensating at this point which means this ship this ship and this ship are going to be shieldless against the sheer plasma firepower of my beautiful weapon this one not so much but this guy oh oh i don't know i don't know it's got a good speed but i reckon we put an avoid command in it everyone just zoibergs away and then once we kill the rest of the ships we go for the kill at the end that's that's my current plan uh, everyone deploy we're going in. Are we ready for this? Hopefully we are. Wait to see. Also, the game volume seems really quiet. I just noticed also that. Probably means the entire video has been quiet, which is a bit of annoying. Okay, everyone avoid that target. Everyone get the hell away from it. Mostly because it can do that. So it seems like it's out of range, and all of a sudden it's in range, which is always a problem. Okay, I'm going to go for this guy. Don't mind me. 
The only problem with this gun is I have to fire it, which means I'm not going to hit it very often, so... <laughs> it's okay. I mean, look at this. Look at this damage. Is it... It's like a, it's like a silky smooth, smooth dream. I thought I was going to get like an awesome kill shot there. Okay, so that guy's going for me. Uh, we need to get around this. I need to go and reinforce the other guy. Uh oh, Whoa, no, no, no. Okay, I've clearly got some attention here. Uh, can you guys go and engage that together? And I'll just float around around me for a little bit. Oh, I've got to be a bit careful with my ranging here because I might get in trouble. Yeah, unfortunately, without the pulse laser, it's kind of hard to do a passive damage on this guy because uh, we've lost our just general static DPS, uh, which is a bit annoying. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. That is a bit of annoyance here. Now, we could just flat out overpower him, but then we've got the problem with that shrike ever pressing on our set location. So I'll try and keep the pressure up. We should be able to outpace it. So if we just get it like this, where it's moving away. Uh oh! I'm surprised it got me. I thought it was going to be too far away there, so my bad. I misjudged that situation. Kill that hound, guys! How is it getting so... Is, what? The, my speed should be 40 above it, mate! So I'm a bit confused by the uh, rapid speed increase of this enemy while I'm tapping F. But it's okay. What's it moving at the moment? It's moving at 160. That's why it was catching me. It's a lot faster than it looked like it was, should have been. Okay, so the other guys are coming now. I got rid of the engage command. Uh, we still want to probably try and get rid of this little guy first, if we can. Though, oh, actually no, we'll just leave a general attack order and then see what happens. We'll just let the game do its own thing. I'm going to focus on putting the flux up on this strike so it can't burst us down. If you can cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me. That's not covering. Mm. That's looking good. We're getting some damage in now. <laughs> Stupid missile. Strike down. Okay, so with my headset fixed. <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. I was killing that strike and then the um, the actual thing just broke. I was like, oh god. It's fine, I can order a replacement. It's only the earbud thing. Anyway, uh, this guy is about to go down and we should have ended this engagement. Cool beans. No, I don't want any of those ships. Enemy down. Oh, we found the integrated targeting unit at the start of the playthrough. Yes, this thing is brilliant. Excellent. I've also got a prison. Oh, this is great. This is going so well i've also leveled up as well let's pick what do we want to pick i reckon i reckon i do we want to go for this one 100 fast repair that combat damage is repaired automatically at no cost and less supply use for maintenance that is a great skill without a doubt Whoop. okay so i don't want to fight you right now because i'm injured although it's only a wayfarer and a brawler now the brawler is going to be a bit of a pain because the brawlers on the LP side are a bit fast, guys. They've actually painted on red stripes everywhere. Look at the ship. There is more red stripes than there are normal hull paints. So this thing goes fast. 175 speed. It's actually a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. We should probably go for it anyway. I reckon we can take it down. We'll sit together, though. I'm going to be at the most risk with my very low HP. But I think with missile spam and just high DPS, we could probably take it down. There's one more ship than I thought there would be. Oh, weird. Um... Got a break itch. Oh, that's bad. 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 What the hell? Oh, I think I accidentally tapped um, the con <laughs> the control key, here, <laughs> which also I saw caps lock. That was a very confusing situation for me. I'm like, what's going on? It's I'm now playing at double speed. No, stay away. Please, I have a family! Wait, how did I catch that? It looks like that shouldn't have worked, but it did work, weirdly. 
This thing is a monster. If we can recover this, it'll be a good ship to get. Luckily, it's a bit passive. I think the uh, officer's on a passive mindset right now. He's not on the grind set. He's on the... Oop. Flux is too high. More missiles. Okay, I'm going to do a quick tactical flux. Hopefully, he can keep up his deep pressure. And I can come in and swoop him. Ah, oh, that way for us blocked it. Okay, never mind. Okay, pull back, pull back. Um, can we... Everyone go up this way. We gank that ship. Everyone full speed. Just we'll leave him, we'll leave him. We we'll quickly gank it. It's only a combat freighter, right? Yeah. So we'll full speed it, gank it, turn around with all three of our ships, and we can hopefully take care of the rest of them. Uh, though they are closing in, but very slowly. Okay, this should be good. Uh, we've got like 52 missiles left. That's tons of missiles. Hey, buddy. Okay, good job, everyone. Turn around. Now we got the number advantage on these enemies. The Wayfarer's at the front as well, so we might be able to gank that if we get some good shots in. My HP is very low, though, so I've got to be very careful not to get myself overextended, or we're going to have a bad day. Okay, he's in range. I'm going to try and keep my distance, but he's going for me instead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, fire missiles. Break him off, break him off. I can pretty much ignore the Wayfarer. It's going to be a fast battle. So... Oh, back, 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 whoop! No, 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 no. Oh, just terrors of early game Star Fair. It's not called Star Fair. Star Setter, sorry. That shows how long I've had this game. <laughs> that was beautiful shots there. I, I know I did it myself. I'm shooting my own horn here, but it was like perfectly on the edge of the shield rim. It was actually a pleasure to shoot there. No, 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 no. Get some damage up there, buddy. Okay, cover me. Oh, no, he's going to go for me. He's going to go for... <gasps> Ooh, that, if that guy switched targets, I would not be here anymore. I would be just a figment of space dust floating through the skies. Okay, I failed this. Back up. Just come back in again. Oh, this... We need to capture this ship. This ship is good. Even if it can't kill things, it's got such good, like, presence. Yes! Yes! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Let me finish it off. Double victory. If that was at the same time, my chances of success would be as much as, I don't know, winning the lottery. That would have been impossible. Assault cannons. Everything I could possibly imagine is now mine. Okay, let's get out of it. Woo! I don't know why that was so far. I think it's because I pressed caps lock again. <laughs> caps lock's a scary button, guys. That's all I can really say there. So, up ahead, we have ourselves the Freeport. The freest place in all the sector. Let's jump inside quickly. Don't attack me, thank you. Um, so there is a gate, and there's also a station. So we we'll quickly grab the gate first, and we we'll built buy storage. I think storage costs like 10 grand or something to set up. Or I might be wrong. I don't know. We'll see very shortly when we actually go and do it. Uh, I'll leave my super, super duper ship over here, and we'll come back for it later when we have like a bigger base of ships and cargo and stuff. Because right now, it's just too powerful, guys. It's too strong to function. You're not going to kill me, are you? Now, what's going on here? You can't do that to me. Okay, so storage. Only five grand to store something here. Let's store it. Done. This should make us now faster again. Maximum speed has been achieved again. And we have ourselves another place we can just call home as well, which is also pretty awesome. So, while I'm here, so a quick look. There are more wolves. We already have 29 grand in the bank we can spend. Also, it's got some rare weapons, right? Because this is the Freeport itself. I kind of want to maybe get like a... Even just a basic thing would be pretty handy. Uh, ooh. No. Oh, maybe the Particle Cannon. Oh, wait, no. 25% against shield. Sorry, I thought that was the opposite. No, that's not a good idea. <laughs> no. No, thank you. Um, oh, there is some energy gun things. That's pretty cool. Kinetic beam. I'm not sure how that's possible, but they found a way. Okay, so... 
I say... Liberty. The Liberty ship. They made many of them very, very quickly. Okay, I think for now, though, I'm happy with what we have. We keep trying to get some money in the bag. Should we go and take a quick perusal at the other locations contacts also i haven't used my spec thing what am i doing with my life right now we have picked that up we'll get that going we're good to go done let's also get some more crew in case we lose some people be a bit awkward if we do okay let's go and check out the contacts literally just above us in full uh let's see so the military trade so it should be a nice hybrid what the hell oh my god <laughs> there's a thing here we're consider repair, so it means I get, I use a story point, but also means I double my speed, not double, but it goes a lot faster for a while. Nice. And I'm a skipper. Oh, this is great. I got three wolves. I got a full-on battleship <laughs> in a storage base already. This is going great. I, I can't even fathom why this is going so well. Okay, sell ship done so of course we need more crew again because we have reached the limit of my crew let's get some more dudes what are you equipped with my friend pulse laser very nice i do we want a suppression thing my bob i don't know i kind of want to try this what are these weapons wait what's this thing Ooh, burst pd laser it's got oh it's got burst pd on it interesting uh, I want to get a salamander on you, and we'll also go for the anti-shield, because you can be, like, high DPS. I'll put on you the suppression cannon, so when you block their shields, you can just double, arm, double home, kill them off. Harden. Go. Okay, that's not great when it comes to efficiency, but we have another guy, so that's pretty awesome in my books. Nice! This is brilliant! Okay, let's go and check out the uh, old guy over this way. Stop trying to s What have I done to you? Why are you doing this to me? If I was stronger, I'd just come and kill you. I shouldn't have thrown over that. What if it was like an enemy smuggler base or something? So, uh, where am I particularly going in here? It, they are a contact with the Persian League. Interesting. Let's go inside, shall we? Hello. I presume they're going to be in this giant military base. Why, hello there. Oh. Built around its huge railgun, the Excalibur class is a long range sniper snip. <laughs> sniper snip. Capable of breaking the strongest shields and overloading weak ones in a single shot. Oh, I need it. It only costs a hundred grand. I feel like I can I can get that soon. It could be pretty cool. Okay, contact. I want you to talk to me. Tell me your secrets, aristocrat. Explain your acting as something. What is happening? <laughs> I mean, it's some kind of story event. If you people want to read this, feel free, guys. Feel free. Apparently, I got some kind of stuff. Cool. Well, I think I just bribed that guy without realizing, but it's okay because we've, we've done things. Uh, let's see. That's some kind of story event I wish I didn't click on, because we could have done it properly, but it's okay, whatever. Uh, that was the wrong person, clearly. Where's my actual contact? Or was that him? What is his name? Let me just double check. His name is... It is him. Ah, oh, there you go. Do you have any work for me? So he wants to buy... What is this? A plus or. Fair enough. Bounty dockets. Fair enough again. And he wants to buy ships of a certain faction. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Well, that wasn't as great as I thought it would be, but okay. We should probably go to another bounty system, because we're getting quite strong now in terms of early game stuff. And there's a double bounty! Double bounty. B -b 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 double bounty. Let's go this way. Whoa! 
Who's it shooting at? Just random missiles being flown off into space there. Oh, it's probably shooting at the um, random pirate bay. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all this. It's a massacre. Oh, it's another wolf. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I can't, I can't get this one. We're not going to use story points on every single wolf I see. We'll keep some in reserve for bigger things, but still. Uh, ship recovery, yes. I will take that one. Thank you very much. Look at all this stuff floating around. It's pretty beautiful. They didn't even got a chance. These attacks are just killing them from across the sector. Ah, oh, there's a combat. <laughs> this is brilliant. Wait, no, come back. I want to kill you. Oh, it's got a pirate ship in it. Okay, we have to take it over. We must capture this ship. Mark my words. We will capture this ship. I don't know how fast. I don't think they were very fast, were they? So I think we should be able to catch it quite quickly. It's got a glowing... Ga oh, no, it's way faster than I thought it was. 228. Oh, it's faster than me. No! Get it, buddy. Distract it. Even if it starts having to fire at its guns, it will slow itself down. I didn't realize the brig was so fast. Nah, it's gone. It's gone. We can kill this thing, though. Oh, I'm so sad. I really want to capture the brig. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Enjoy. And done. Not exactly as epic as I thought it was going to be, but it's okay, because we get ourselves some more free stuff. Uh, take it all. Done. Uh, let's head over... I probably should sell this stuff first, because I've got a bunch of random ships now. We go over here, fix them, and then we're going to leave. Oh, let me just grab this away. Ooh, before I forget. The Gig the Fool. Awesome. Seems a bit overkill of how many gates are nearby. They're actually attacking the raider base? What the hell? That's a, such a small fleet as I shouldn't be flying through the ring of asteroid belt. <laughs> Damn it, me. Why would I do this to myself? Hi, my friend. Would you like to buy all these random vessels? Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I think we're okay at the moment. Ooh. Ooh, when the drive field. Could be handy in the future. This thing's always pretty damn fast if you try and get it. Oh, survey equipment as well could be pretty handy. There's a lot of very handy things we can try and buy at some point. But not right now. Okay, let's have a look. I want to try and get... So I'm looking... I'm keeping an eye out for a location of the game which has a destroyer. Now, oh, there is a destroyer here, but it's a brick. I want to try and get the that could be pretty fun i might have to buy one of those just for the lols but first i want to try and get myself an upgrade i want to get myself like a, a hammerhead probably and then we have like a good ship to just go off with when it comes to killing enemies hammerhead's really fun to play with as well at least in my opinion anyway so we want to go over to this place over here to do the double bounty i'm pretty certain so let's get ourselves moving over there as we start flying around here and also fly into the damn belt thing again <laughs> wait uh oh I think that means incoming artillery. Good thing it hasn't got friendly fire, because that would be pretty awkward. That's <laughs> why so just randomly shooting. Imagine you're like going through a trade route in real life, and there's just random missiles flying around. I guess that's actually the case right now. It's not good. Uh, luckily for me, I'm not a ship captain right now. Uh, oh, lost a bit of money there, mostly because of this. Oh, damn it. It costs a bit to keep that in storage, apparently. It's okay. So how far? We're quite far away. Let's get over there. But here we are. But everybody, I'm probably going to be doing this bit in the start of next episode. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the first episode of this series. It's going to be every other day. So currently, I'm getting, I'm, I'm going on holiday in under a month right now. And after a series of unfortunate events with many delays and things that have gone wrong, I'm going to do like half content for a while. So when I say half content, I mean literally it's going to be this game every other day for probably a while because I'm going to be very busy next few weeks getting ready for holiday. 
Um, so yeah, I hope people like the series anyway. I honestly, just playing this game without any like weird change limitations is quite liberating in itself. I, I, I am looking forward to it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and record this as much as possible. Hopefully, we can do quite a long one this one. If the series keeps doing well, we'll try and do quite a bit because currently I'll put it down for at least 16 episodes. But if it keeps doing really well, we can do like even more because I got to record until the 29th of May to cover my entire holiday period. That includes like a few days when I get back to we get rid of jet lag and stuff so um basically i've got to do a 26 videos to the main channel from today all the way through to that date there may be additional content by the way if i get to a point where i record ahead i will add some additional videos in while i'm not doing stuff to try and get back to where i was but for now i give myself 26 videos to do every other day so that i have ample time to do everything else i gotta get like packing and stuff so that kind of thing anyway everybody thank you for watching this video as always please like subscribe and comment below and i will see you next time bye